What's going on, everybody? It's Jonathan here in the booth. And to quote Buster Poindexter, I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. It's the, it's the time of year when things get a little, little stuffy here in the booth. So I will probably be making this short so you don't see me collapse in a heat stroke. That would be a good viral moment, but I would not uh, personally enjoy it. Anyway, today's message is from the book and kind of a, kind of a uh, self-help classic, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And it's all small stuff. I I don't know whether I was revisiting with this book or reading it for the first time recently, but I want to share number 89 with you, which is if someone throws you the ball, you don't have to catch it. To sum up, this basically means all these distractions that come into our lives, like somebody emailing you, somebody saying, hey, check out this YouTube video, all these different things that can intersect with our lives. You don't have to stop what you're doing and engage with it. Now, I know that seems obvious, but I will say that the author here, Richard Carlson, PhD, uh, says at the end of this little chapter that you may be surprised how often you catch the ball when somebody throws it to you. And he, at least for me, was right. I was noticing as I'm beginning to practice this that I'll say to myself a lot like, whoa, 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 you don't, you don't have to do that right now just because someone texted, emailed, whatever. And this, for me, has been very effective at deliberately carving out creative time, which is one of my most important and sacred things to do, making sure I have enough creative time every week. If that's also important to you or if you have time that you block out for whatever reason, tell me about it. Hope you're doing well. As always, I send you peace and love.